a debate of two leaders. Prime Minister John Key went head-to-head -head in the press leaders' debate against leader of the opposition, David Cunliffe. Key's opening statements painted National as a strong and stable government, with Mr Cunliffe stating Labour would strive to create the fairest, most decent society in the world. Both leaders were firing at each other, following TVNZ leaders' debate, which lacked the same spark as last night's. When you have a big audience like this, um, there's, it's, a, it's kind of a bit more fun. It's just typically a bit that kind of debate. You know, when you're on a televised debate as we were last week, uh, you, know, you have you know, quite a lot of interruptions. You don't have nearly as long a time. You have a moderator that's interjecting, and, and they, they need to do that. It's just a different format. And Held at St Margaret's College, Christchurch issues fueled the second half of the debate with Key defending the slow pace of the rebuild, telling the crowd Christchurch's central city is booming and almost full. Key's hometown advantage was lost when locals took to the microphone to ask the leaders questions. Shedding light on the insurance issues, still facing many locals almost four years on from the earthquake. Cunliffe promised to speed up post-earthquake recovery, committing to building more than 10,000 homes over four years as well as revealing MP Clayton Cosgrove as Labor's earthquake minister under a Labor-led government. But Cunliffe tripped over the topic of capital gains tax, put under pressure by Key when asked if family homes in a trust would be exempt. Cunliffe was rattled and unable to answer. Well, well, I've learned to check my facts and so I thought it better to check that one before answering. The leaders fought over minimum wage, child poverty, spending, state housing and tax within the two-hour debate. The 800-strong crowd divided at the end on who was the clear winner. That decision being left to the polls on September 20th. Emma Cropper, CTV News.